Well, good evening to you. It is clear out there. It'll be cool again tonight. A little bit cooler than we were this morning as temperatures fall back down into the 40s for much of the region and mild and sunny for Monday. Not as warm as today. This has been a, a day where a cold front has passed through kind of quietly right now, but you'll notice I think more through the evening hours and certainly overnight that cooler air coming in and then again for tomorrow. There's another front that will come in Tuesday night and that one brings us a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures fairly quickly through the evening fall back into the 50s by 9 o'clock in many areas it took until 4, 5, 6 a.m. to get that cool this morning. So it gives you an idea again, much more of a quick cooling expected through this evening. Skies are mostly clear, beautiful late afternoon, early evening in Jackson County from our Prairie Bank Casino weather cam. Looking out over the Little Apple, a nice start to your Sunday evening. And temperatures in Topeka, 75 degrees. Wind out of the northeast at 9. Started out at 50, 75 has been the high. Can't really ask for much nicer weather than what we've had for this weekend. And that uh, wrapping up the weekend on a nice note carries over into some pretty nice weather Monday as well. 75 Burlington and Topeka, 74 for Manhattan and Clay Center, also 74 degrees at Junction City with breezes out of the northeast. Now calm to the south, but most areas about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And those northeasterly winds are starting, and it's a slow process, but they are starting to bring in some cooler air from the north. And you'll see temperatures by 10 o'clock dropping into the lower 50s up north, low to mid 50s central and upper 50s to the south. And then we continue to drop into the lower to mid 40s across most of the area, maybe upper 40s over the southern tier of counties by tomorrow morning. And then we warm back up into the upper 50s to around 60 at lunch tomorrow into the middle to upper 60s for a high. So not quite as warm today, I'm down about six or seven degrees. And then we'll start out near 50 on Tuesday, but with a returning breeze and the winds will kick up on Tuesday. We'll see temperatures rise once again into the middle 70s. So just a little setback for tomorrow. We are tracking this next storm system off to the west. You can see it west of California, but rains already over portions of California. For us, not here yet, but I want to show you this on future track. While it's clear now, we are going to be looking at clear skies overnight into tomorrow morning. Throughout the daytime tomorrow, lots of sunshine, a beautiful Monday, but then the cloud cover starts to build in Tuesday. This is 730 in the morning through the day. The clouds thicken. And by late Tuesday evening or Tuesday night, showers and thunderstorms start to move through the area. That's our next chance for a little bit of scattered rain. Look at your KSNT storm track seven day forecast. About 69 for the high tomorrow, then 76 and breezy on Tuesday. Kind of hard to say which day to put the percentage on because it is really truly going to straddle that midnight hour. And so some of it will fall late, late Tuesday night, others very early Wednesday morning. It is mainly a Tuesday night rain chance, followed by temperatures warming up again through the tail end of the week. By Friday, we're back into the upper 70s and cooling down next weekend. And Harrison, that gets us really close to Halloween. That's right. You know, people are does, starting to worry it? about that, you know, what kind of costuming to go with. This right. year looks like we're trending a little bit warmer. Well, you know, and it also seems like an extension of summer to some capacity, just a little bit. So I don't think people could complain about right. that. You know, it's, it's a nice stretch of weather we've been going through. and We've got more of it out ahead. That's awesome.